People will be aware that for some time the County Council has been planning to move to a much smaller building here in the city centre. We're now making preparations to get that construction underway and we have some information today to make sure that people's lives are made a bit easier. In terms of the city, this is quite a small change. Small change in parking, a change to coach parking. Please bear with us. In order to construct the new building, we will have to close the Sands car park for the next two years. Now that will lose 130 spaces, but actually the River Walk car park is just opened across the water. That reprovides over three times that amount of parking which has been lost for the last two years. So overall in the city, there's not going to be a great change for people actually coming about their everyday business. The Sands car park will close from the Sunday evening on the 11th of August, and that'll be closed for the next two years. In two years time, we will provide a new car park, which is a minute's walk away, that will have the same number of public parking spaces during the day, but actually more spaces on a weekend and an evening, so it's actually better in the longer term for the city. At the same time as we close the Sands car park, we're changing the tariffs on Sidegate car park. Sidegate car park is just across the water next to the Radisson Hotel. And what we're doing is we're creating more short stay spaces and taking away long stay spaces. So in terms of shoppers and people visiting, again, very little change. More short stay parking, and people who enjoy the pass from the leisure centre will again will honour that pass at the Sidegate car park. If you're visiting the city, it's very much business as usual. We have nearly 2,000 off-street spaces, park and rides running as usual. We have all the on-street capacity. So in terms of visitors, very little change in the short term. The one permanent change, again, from the 11th of August is that we're taking the coach park out of the city. This will be going to Belmont. We're providing a, a larger coach area, uh, more facilities for drivers, toilets, these sorts of things, areas to clean the buses. That coach park won't be ready until the end of September, but temporarily we'll be accommodating the same number of coaches that we have at the moment. In terms of people visiting the city, the coach pick-up and drop-off point is exactly the same as it is at the moment, uh, and also no change there. There'll be signs and all the rest for drivers to make sure they get to their, where they need to be. In terms of those people who work in the city, almost no change at all. One group who has expressed a concern are traders who come to the Saturday market because some have larger vehicles. And to make provision for them, we're putting some spaces in for them to be used on a Saturday morning in Providence Row. People will see the signs, know which spaces are for the traders. Uh, so very again, 10 spaces, very little change. In terms of local residents, it will be a building site, there will be disruption, there will be vehicles coming and going, and the footpath to the front of the Sands car park will be closing, but we will be providing a temporary footpath on the other side of the road during the construction period. This is a big change for the County Council. Our staff are going around the county, they're coming to a lot smaller building, they're changing the way they're working. In terms of the city, this is quite a small change. Small change in parking, a change to the coach parking. Please bear with us, lots of information on the website.